Lesson 1.41 deals with numbers all the way up to the number 100 now, last of all. And uh, you'll find that uh, numbers begin to become a little bit more of a challenge once you get past 69, as you'll see in just a moment. So I want to show you the numbers themselves within the lesson. We'll talk about them a little bit. And then I want to show you a new activity which uh, you've, uh, of a nature that you haven't done before within the lesson. So let's go take a look at Lesson 1.41. So here we are in Lesson 1.41. And we'll scroll down to the fourth section, I believe it is, in which you'll see all of the numbers provided from uh, 0 to 100. Uh, from 0 through 9, that's the greatest challenge for you to get to know those numbers really uh, uh, in such a way that you can provide them automatically upon uh, having that, that number, that concept come to mind. Uh, once you've mastered 0 through 9, it's just a matter, for the most part, of recombining and modifying slightly numbers to get you as high as you need to go. Um, uh, and as you know, uh, knowing the tens is also a critical matter, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, because once you have learned them as well as the, the units, you can combine them to form basically any combination of number, any, any combination of tens and units you, you need to, like 33, you say 30 and 3. Uh, 30, 3 becomes 33, and 47, 40, and 7 becomes 47, and the only extra little information you need to remember is that when you say 21, 31, 41, 51, or 61, you add the word E, which is and, before the 1, so 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, well, up to 69, 69, it's been pretty easy, hasn't it? It really hasn't been that difficult to get to know the numbers, but... Uh, the plot thickens here. Things become a little more complex. Uh, not for the Belgians. The Belgians who, who speak French are, are more, a little more rationally, you might say. They simplify things by having a number for 70 and a number for 90 that the French do not have. They say 70, I believe, never having lived in Belgium, but I think it's 70, and 90 uh, for these two numbers right here. The French, mm, they prefer that you do a little bit of me mental arithmetic, a little mental calculation to come up with the numbers. They don't say 70, they say 60, 10. 70 is 60, uh, 60, 10. 60, 10. There you have 60 right here, and then 10 here. Put them together, you got 70. So you've got to become a little bit of a, have a, a calculator in your mind if you're going, to, um, you're going to use numbers in French. The next one is going to be there for 60, 11. 60, and then the E stays there, the number right after the, uh, the, the even number within the tens column. Uh, it's 60 et 11. So 60 and 11. Then you say 60, 12, 60, 13, 60, 14, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. Now listen to how complex it starts to become at this point. Because you know the number 17 is 17, 10 and 7. So you say for 77, 77, which is 60, 10 and 7. For those of you who are weak in arithmetic, this might pose a little bit of a challenge. But you'll see that the more you speak the language and deal with numbers, that eventually you don't see 60, 10, and 7. You just think of two digits. So this you hear, which gives you the first digit, the tens column, and then set the units column. Eventually you become that automatic. Well, things don't get a whole lot easier when we turn the corner and go to, to 80. 80 is like four score. It's uh, 80, four twenties. Yes, it's the truth. Uh, uh, and when you come to 81, you say 420 is 1. Now, you don't say E. Why you don't say E at this point? I'm not sure. But it's it's 81. I think it's just to make life a little more difficult for English-speaking people who like to learn French. But nonetheless, 81 is 81. 420 is a 1. Or 420 is 1. There's no and. 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 89. And we come last to, next to 290. And 90 is 420's 10. 90, 420's 11. And again, there's no A here. 91, 92, 93, 420's 13. And then you finally get all the way up to 99, and you start to understand why French checks are much larger than American checks when you have to write a check. This is 420's a 10 and a 9. 99, 99. Now, I assure you that if you use numbers over time, um, uh, you no longer see a 4 times 20 plus 10 plus 9 in your mind. You simply see 90, and you know that gives you the first number, the, the tens column, and then the, the neuf adds the, the units column. But at first, you, you're going to have to do a little bit of mental arithmetic, a little gym, mental gymnastics to come up with numbers in French. 99. Let me show you what, therefore, uh, I think I've got it right here. This is what uh, 99 
looks like. And this is what 90, of course, looks like in English. Now you can see why you have to have a larger check and therefore a larger checkbook and therefore probably keep your checkbook in a different place than you do uh, when you're carrying it around in your vest pocket in America. Uh, so 99. Uh, that's just a brief introduction to the numbers in French and you'll be doing the exercises that help you become more acquainted with numbers up to 100. But let me just show you one new type of exercise within this uh, within this lesson, that's the very very next section, it's our first dictation. It's our first and almost our last dictation for a long time. Because dictations generally uh, involve the transcription of words as you're writing them down after having heard them. Since we're not writing until Unit 5, there's no need to do any dictation. But uh, this activity can be useful as, we're, uh, as you hear a series of numbers that you have to write down. And that's what we're simulating right here in this exercise. So you see the symbolic direction at the top of this of this section. This uh, indicates you to write something down or in this case if you don't have scratch paper this is a very easy way to do it. You can type in this blank right here the numbers that you're about to hear and then as you click on this on the mouse right here if you ever see a mouse in the ULAT that simply means that you are to to click uh, on this to make something happen. So in any case when you click on the mouse there you'll see the correct answers appear down there. So let's first uh, go ahead and do this activity. I'll click on the number one, so I'll hear a sound file that tells me the uh, the numbers that I'm to write down and or type down, and I will put them in this blank. Here we go. Listen up. Six. Vingt neuf. So you see, I'm just typing in this blank here the numbers. Quarante-sept. A space in between each one as we go along. 64. I'm going to intentionally make a mistake here so that you can see how 86. it is beneficial to cap, whoops, to, whoa, 90. to uh, uh, check one's numbers. They're, uh, uh, 72. Finishing. 72. 55. 55. 34. 34. 11. There are 10 numbers, I guess that's it. Right, that's it. Now, you're, uh, having typed these up, I'm going to click on the mouse, and I should see, voila, presto, the numbers appear. And you'll see 6 matches up with 6, 29 with 29, 47, 47, 64, and 74. So here I said, uh, here it, it was 64, and I transcribed the 74, which would be 70, 60, 14, in other words, 74. So that's why you want to click on this mouse here to, to check your numbers and, and, and see where you are making mistakes. Uh, and then you'll see that as you scroll down, this white line here simply se separates dictations. So that here's dictation number two, number three, and number four. Each of them have an, a different series of ten numbers. Gets that's it. You may now uh, go to lesson 1.41 and start to get to those, know those numbers all the way up to 100. Au revoir.